China and Russia have developed weapons the U.S. has not yet had. Each of the two test launches was conducted about a dozen different trials in areas such as heat-resistant materials, high-end electronics, and lightweight materials which are all required to successfully develop and deploy hypersonic weapons. Russia has deployed the Kinzhal hypersonic missile perhaps marking the first time such a weapon has been used. And during last year's test, China's hypersonic missile flew around the world before hitting its target. China and Russia are pushing the U.S. to develop hypersonic weapons more quickly as the Pentagon seeks to increase the speed of testing and research and avoid falling behind, said a senior Navy admiral in charge of the U.S. effort. It's not just the world's superpowers eyeing this high-end weapon, North Korea claims to have successfully tested a hypersonic missile earlier this year. And Iran claims the Islamic Revolution Guard's core aerospace forces have developed a hypersonic missile. We've seen reports confirming and coming out of Iran. We remain skeptical of these reports, said Pentagon Deputy Press Secretary Sabrina Singh. We will continue to closely monitor any development or proliferation of advanced technology coming out of Iran. The US has stepped back from research and development around hypersonic programs in recent years. But as China and Russia increase investment in their own systems, the US has made it a priority to catch up with its own aggressive timeline. Until recently, there has been no real incentive for us to take that technology and incorporate it into weapons systems. The need wasn't there, said Vice Admiral Johnny Wolf, director of the Naval Strategic Systems Program. The need is there now, which is why we have a sense of urgency to get it after this. Wolf spoke to CNN last month as the military conducted two rocket test launches to gather hypersonic development data acknowledging that China and Russia were the drivers. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds in excess of Mach 5 or around 4,000 miles per hour, making them difficult to detect and intercept in time. The missiles are also maneuverable and varying altitude allows them to evade current missile defense systems. Pentagon is seeking $5 billion for hypersonic research in the next fiscal year, up from $4 billion, according to the Congressional Research Service. The U.S. is developing a number of different hypersonic weapons programs across military service, but a series of test failures is disrupting certain programs. The Air Force conducted successful trials of its air-launched rapid response weapon, but that came only after three consecutive test failures. Common Hypersonic Glide Body, a joint venture between the Army and Navy, also experienced a test failure over the summer during the first full system test. Every exam is an opportunity to learn, regardless of the final result. I think failure is part of the process. When you look at advanced technology and you see how you really want to lean in and get something in fighters' hands quickly, we have to accept the fact that in order to do that, we will take a risk. The Army plans to field a long-range hypersonic weapon next year, which will make it the first hypersonic system fielded by the military. The system uses a two-stage booster rocket to accelerate projectiles traveling to hypersonic speeds. The glide body then hurdles towards its target at breakneck speed, using its kinetic energy as a weapon. The Navy plans to field a version of its own system on Zumwalt-class missile destroyers by 2025, and a version for the current submarine-launched hypersonic missile is slated for later this decade. It's basically just a next-generation missile says Tom Carrico, director of the Missile Defense Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. We don't do it just because of them. We do it for specific military needs Carrico said. You need that uncertainty, not just speed. Ballistic missiles will give you speed, but it's hypersonic launchers and scramjets that combine speed with maneuverability.